Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to team up with David Beckham for Invictus Games. Football superstar David Beckham has signed up as an ambassador for Prince Harry's Invictus Games, which is due to take place from October 20th to 27th in Sydney. Beckham, 43, said he was incredibly proud to fulfill the duty as he looked forward to the Australian-hosted games later this year. The sporting event, first launched in London in 2014 by Prince Harry, will see 500 wounded and paralyzed Defence Force veterans from 18 nations competing in 11 adaptive sports. The former England captain and sporting legend wrote in an Instagram post, I've been lucky enough to meet and work with many serving veteran and wounded British Armed Forces personnel over the years and I've been humbled by the courage, resilience and spirit shown by each and every one of them. The entire Invictus Games team, led by the Duke of Sussex, has achieved remarkable things in such a short space of time, using sport as a powerful force to rehabilitate and unite and I can't wait to be part of the energy and the excellence of the Games this year. Beckham is expected to join Prince Harry down under at the Games but it is unclear if his wife, Victoria, will also make an appearance. Of the Beckham ambassador announcement, Invictus Cindy tweeted, We're thrilled to welcome David Beckham as an hashtag IG2018 ambassador. Don't miss your chance to witness our unconquered wounded warriors compete across eight inspiring days. The next games will be held in the Netherlands in 2020. The Beckhams are among Prince Harry and William's many high-profile friends. Both Victoria and David attended the royal wedding of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry in May this year, and of the Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William in April 2011. Prince Harry, 33, and his wife, Meghan Markle, 37, will attend the Cindy Games as part of their royal tour of Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga in October this year. The tour dates have not yet been confirmed. But, given the long distance, it is likely the royal couple will be away for at least two weeks. When the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, both 36, visited Australia and New Zealand in April 2014, which was their first visit there as a married couple, they spent 18 days away. Meghan and Harry's full tour itinerary is yet to be released. It was reported Harry banned Meghan from wearing a tuxedo on the Australian tour. According to the Daily Mail, a source from a fashion meeting at Kensington Palace said, Meghan is being told she needs to stop dressing like a Hollywood star and start dressing like a royal. Meghan wanted to wear a tuxedo-style suit but Harry said it wasn't traditional enough. In February this year, Meghan sported a black and white tux with a loose white bow tie for the Endeavour Fund Awards at Goldsmiths Hall in London. She teamed the 1,245-pounds Alexander McQueen feminine tuxedo with a 285-pounds white shirt by tux featuring a large bow detail around the neckline. Princess Diana was also a fan of feminine tuxedos. She wore one to Wembley Stadium, accompanied by a bright green waistcoat and 20 bow tie in 1988. The People's Princess also wore a white tux with a black bow tie when she visited Florence during a British royal tour of Italy in 1985.